We're going on a boat. We're going on a boat. Going on a boat. We're going on a boat. How scenic is this? We're just going down the river with some cats. Fatika, <laughs> <laughs> everybody, welcome to Fatika. <laughs> Welcome to a new adventure. Today our friend Dan Bangkok and Danny and Diggy kidnapped us to go to a place that is a little bit outside of Bangkok city, but it's still considered Bangkok. Um, the place that we're going to is called Hua Take, and it's a local floating market from what I understood, sort of like an old townsy type of market. So yeah, we're just gonna have a look around and see what's going to happen today. As always, we came unprepared. So if you ever do come to Hua Take and you're looking for the market, Market. basically you just have to leave the train station and then follow this beautiful river here all along this river you have these absolutely amazing trees they are so so colorful like a really bright orangey red type of tree it's so beautiful here and uh, you immediately get a different vibe obviously leaving uh, the big city of Bangkok here it seems to be a lot more calm, a lot more tranquil, um, nearly no people in the area. Obviously you hear some music right now because there seems to be some sort of a show going on over there. Um, but yeah, it's a very different vibe to this area. It's very rural feeling, which is totally different to uh, the hustle and bustle of Bangkok, as Naomi was just saying. And Hua Take basically translates into crocodile head. And that is because there is supposed to be crocodiles in this river that we're currently walking along uh, which is pretty crazy and this market supposedly has quite a bit of history behind it it's believed to be or it is around a hundred years old so very excited to go and check this place out very excited to see the community and how the community operates and uh, just sort of what is on sale as well this is going to be a very special day and we're very very happy to be here with Dan Bangkok, Danny and Diggy and uh, that train ride was very cool too. Something very different to the MRT system and to the BTS system. There was no air conditioning. It was very sort of just get on and go but it was incredibly inexpensive. It was only five baht per person to get from Asok all the way out here. So great day trip option for all of you guys it was about half an hour on the train um, now this one was the local train apparently you can take the airport link as well which is like 50 baht or something like that and that one would have an ac but we wanted to go all local today and see what it's actually like because we are obviously leaving uh, urban bangkok for the first time today so yeah i cannot wait and actually experience what's going to happen today and what we're going to see because it's going to be completely different now guys, the last time that you would have seen Danny and Diggy and Dan Bangkok on our channel, it would have been around the Songkran video time. They're here with us again today. Now, of course, these guys are gonna have their own video versions of what happens today. So make sure to go over and check them out. I'm sure that they're going to be creating some very interesting and a different perspective from us in regards to what happens today. So check them out guys. Walking to the market now and we're coming across some very interesting looking buildings and uh, structures. And uh, Dan was actually just telling us that if you're living on the river, that they actually deliver your mail on the river, which is incredible. Have a look at this. These are the types of houses that we're seeing. We're currently trying to duck and dive away from the scooters, but um, wow, this is very, very unique and something totally different. We literally, I believe, sort of uh, went back in time a little bit. It feels like it's totally frozen here. It's very interesting here, all of these houses and sort of the walkway that we're on right now seem to be on top of swampland, sort of the outskirts of the river. So everywhere here, left and right, it's very like marshy, swampy type of land. And the people are living here and um, it's very, very cool. All of the houses look quite old as well. So you sort of feel like you traveled in time a little bit back. Yeah, you went back in time. That's exactly what it feels like. It's uh, very, very special, very beautiful. And something big, big, big step away from the madness of Bangkok, the city itself. But uh, 
just have a look at the gorgeous plants wow beautiful colors everywhere these wooden structures constantly surrounded by water too which there is seems incredible to be loads of life in this river as well yep every like 2 seconds you see some air bubbles rising so be careful of the crocodiles i guess <laughs> but i do think there's a lot of fish as well in this river so so i think it's okay we don't have to be careful <laughs> oh yeah just don't jump in it i guess yep don't go for a swim it's absolutely boiling hot today i believe that it is sort of the beginning of a heat wave in and around here and uh, yeah not very pleasant you really need to do come prepared if you are planning for trips like this during this time of the year because right now it's in the high 30s i believe but it feels like low 40s so make sure come prepared with some extra supplies if that's something that you require if you do want to stay hydrated because super important um, I believe that we're getting close now to the market very very excited to try some of the food at this market and also see what sort of antiques or anything special that they're selling here because it is supposed to be a pretty old market oh wow we just kind of stumbled in here Sorry, cab. Wow. Guys, it feels like we literally went back in time, doesn't it? it? Does, yeah. It's, it's like so cool. <laughs> I love all the stilted houses and the old wooden houses. It's oh, beautiful. it's gorgeous. Oh, you feel feel like you are like an actor in the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you're in a music video. <laughs> I'm going to bust a move now in a second. <laughs> Ooh. My dad is like... Well, have, to be. have more information about the market. Mm. You have to visit here. They uh, give you lots of knowledge. ซึ่งเอ่อเอ่อเวิร์คช็อปของเราเนี่ยไม่ได้แสดงหาผลกําไรครับคือถ้าเป็นข้างหน้าจะเป็นเชิงธุรกิจในราคามันก็จะสูง
but they don't have it today. That's the only one and really unique. They have given that one to the leader of APEC meeting as well. So special. How come you have the crocodile as the mascot? It's so cute. And the tourist who does what they do to connect with friends. Oh, Thailand. Thailand. This market definitely hundred years old. Because the road has been in production, you know, people move away. It used to be like big four junction for the, all the canal and road yeah, to come. Sale, big market, yeah. everyone come to this spot. But then when the roads come in, they just move on. Yeah. <laughs> So they kind of realized that they have to really reserve this area. That's when they start growing it. And they want to reserve the way community are. Many people in food traveler they they love this area because the art form here is not more than art form. It's more of the traditional art that they keep in this area. Wow. พอเราไปออกเนี่ยสิ่งที่สําคัญคือว่าตลาดจะตลาดมันจะเป็นนางเลิ้งครับบ้านบาทหรือของบางหลวงแบบเนี้ยที่ไปออกรวมๆกันของ
all along here you have the beautiful river accompanying the gorgeous backdrop and yeah I am to be honest totally speechless by the setting here I'll just show you guys and this right here is something that we would not have been able to show you at all in the city of Bangkok you have one of these old boats here too looks really really incredible and um, hopefully we will see some that are up and down the river today as well but, um, yeah this is um, very unique very different very special excuse me can we move here this is yeah out of this world kind of just turning on the camera so i can show you guys the experience as raw and sort of unedited as possible right now really gorgeous this is already one of the most scenic markets that we have been to since we started traveling here in Thailand look at that view oh my god Swati Kab hello The sweat right, literally keeps running else? into my eyeball, so it's like I'm burning. I want a big iced something. Yeah, yeah. something iced. Or maybe two. Oh, they have two here as well, so it's up to you what you want. Juzu Medicano. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, guys, so we just got ourselves some iced lemon frappe style drink. Um, definitely very, very much needed today because the heat is something else and this is our very first stop here at Hua Take, the old market um, couldn't be any more grateful right now to have this in my hands because wow I really need it hello cheers I just wanted to cheer cheers oh, it's like a icy or something like a lemon iced tea icy yep. syrupy looks really really delicious mm. it's magical it's so hot I know that Vicky always she wanted to visit any shops with ice from the start. Yeah. Yeah. So good. <laughs> it's literally the perfect thing right now for us. The way the river is running along here, the whole setting, it's so picturesque. It feels like you're sitting inside of a really cool movie. Um, yeah, it's amazing. So I actually bring you, brought you to that restaurant, the cafe, because the owner is the leader of this market. Mm. He brings this market back to life after it has been dead. That's incredible. I forgot to mention that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why the people here have cats as well. Yeah, because he loves cats and um, he just has so many cats in his shop. But we only saw one. Mm -hmm. There's more. And he just kind of spread that cats out here. And now, uh, like every single house here basically has a cat because they are all following the leader of the community, so to speak. And uh, yeah, cats are adored here in this place. And you even have a lot of signs here, as you can see. It says Huatake, and then you have a cat. A cat as the symbol of Huatake. Oh, no way! About five o'clock they take the cats out on the boat. <laughs> How cool! This is so cute. Biggie, check this out. Oh, I love that. This is the owner of the uh, restaurant here. Yeah. He oh. says at five o'clock, look what they do. Take a video. <laughs> yes, five o'clock. They take the cats out. Oh, no way. Every day. How cool. Yeah. Every day. No way. That's so cute. That's one more hour and a half. You guys yeah. want to wait? It's like a day out on the water. If you uh -huh. for the cats. Yeah. So oh, cute. nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Two beers. Two beers. That's cool, isn't it? That's oh, a nice one. Beautiful oh, it's pictures. It's Look at this grey one. <laughs> I'm forcing people to dance with me. It's really cool to see that they have um, some signs here as well that are sort of explanatory. And this one here says um, that with these wooden prefabs here, you have about a hundred shops put together on a shaded sidewalk along the pier which is really really cool to see because as you can see it's so 
peaceful, so tranquil and uh, to come here in the afternoon on the weekend is a really, really nice thing to do, especially because it's shaded like this, so you don't actually have to walk in the direct sun, even though it's very hot outside at the moment. But get yourself an iced something and then you're good to go, basically. After we had two of these <laughs> slurpy, slushy type of thingies, and uh, we're feeling actually a lot better after this, so yeah. Get yourself a, shl a slushy, a slurpy, and come here. <laughs> Look at this absolutely beautiful bridge that connects the land to this magical market. The land Gorgeous, the land. To the magical market. Gorgeous views. And this here is literally just so nice. It's like like one of those like anime movies yeah and it looks like it's all built on stilts yeah you see all of the yeah i think it's just covering the like the river literally unreal how is this real life how is this real life i do not understand <laughs> what is so crazy about this market is how stunning it literally is and there's not a single tourist here so Ever since we entered this market, we have literally been the only tourists here. Obviously, Danny and Diggy and uh, Luke and I, we have been the only tourists in this entire market. And I feel like there should be so many more tourists here because, oh my God, it's so beautiful and so traditionally looking, but not many people know about it. So um, yeah, if you do see this video and you happen to be in Bangkok make sure to take the train out and come here on a weekend to see this beautiful market because it's literally a once in a lifetime experience and it's only gonna cost you five bucks to get out here like how ridiculous is this how beautiful is this entire market I cannot believe my eyes out of this world uh, yeah you will genuinely regret it if you don't come here um, even if you're on a short little schedule, I would recommend you guys to get out here because it's a very quick and easy day trip. What are we doing? Getting soda. Just getting soda. Getting soda. 20 baht. 20 baht. Sodas. What type of a soda did you get? You can have Sour rot. So Passion fruit. Passion, Passion fruit. Ah, oh, nice. Cute. Oops. Little grandpa on a bike. Born here. No way. Yeah. She was born here. She was born here. Well, not born here, but she lived here. <laughs> oh, she lived here. <laughs> I was like, she was born here. She was right there. <laughs> Making so this. In the fridge. Yeah, I, said just like, I said like she born here and just stand here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? I don't eat much. You want to try it? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Oh. So good. Mm. It's like a carbonated ice cream, basically. It's so good. Okay. Danny and Diggy and uh, Dan Bangkok both actually recommended this cruncher type of snack. I don't know what it is. It's sort of, it looks like a sweet pancake batter that is like made to like a crispy crab type of a thing. I don't know. And it smells like coconut. It smells like a coconut biscuit. <laughs> mm. oh, they're very nice. Very difficult to explain what it is. It's sort of like a biscuity type of thing. A little less crunchy than I thought it would be. Yeah. It's nice. Mm. Very tasty. Nice little snack. We haven't eaten anything yet today, so we need to get our sugar up. And we still have a lot of exploring to do. This is very delicious. I'm not sure of the actual name though. This ultimate way to relax, I think. We made our way to the riverside. <laughs> quick five seconds from the rest of the the vendors this market is just so incredibly peaceful so quiet so laid back in comparison to bangkok if 
you go to a regular market, floating market, for example, in Bangkok, you will be sort of overwhelmed because every one of your senses will be hit. You're going to be smelling the food, you're going to be bumping into people, there will be a lot of sort of organized chaos. But here, it's so peaceful, so few people here. Big, big thumbs up. <laughs> I'm sweating! <laughs> and Dan's having a good time as well. Yes. Right so next here. Double D is having a good time. Double D. This right is Double D. <laughs> <laughs> double D. Triple D. Triple D. Triple D. Yes. Triple D. <laughs> and Naomi. <laughs> and Naomi. Okay, guys. Out the way. So we basically came for some food because we haven't had any food yet today and we are absolutely starving. Nearly 5 p.m. So yeah, it's nearly 5 p.m. We're going to be going out on the boat soon with some cats. So that's going to be very interesting. Um, something that we've definitely never done before. So we got two dishes. I basically got crispy pork and noodles and Naomi went for some chicken and noodles. What is it? It's just chicken and noodles. It's uh, a yeah, grilled, chicken. grilled chicken and some noodles and we got this uh, very nice sort of sambal sauce uh, with it as well. Very spicy, quite kind of sweet but also spicy. Sweet and spicy sauce. But we're gonna give the, the dish itself a try, go for it. And then we have the broth on the side. My what do God. we do with the broth on the side? Look at that. Just sip it. Just sip it? Yeah. Okay. When you need it. Mm. Just when I'm just I need gonna it. pop it in my mouth. <laughs> pop it in your cup. Oh my God. That's so good. What is that? Is that the crispy the pork, pork is or unbelievable. the fried pork? It's so crispy. It's crispy. So I'm gonna go in with some grilled chicken. Maybe I'm gonna dip it into the spicy sweet sauce. And Diggy is filming, by the way. Oh, this is so nice. Oh yeah. my god. Mm. So many noodles in there as well. Should we do another noodle vacuum cleaner? Yep. Don't know if this is gonna work. Mm -mm. <laughs> <It doesn't work. laughs> Sorry guys, I'm struggling. <laughs> is that miso soup? No. No? Some other type of soup. What does it taste it's like? It's just soup, just broth. It's broth with uh, some nice spring onions in there. Um, so just in case you need some soup in your noodles, you can basically... Shoop. That's what I did really quickly here so that the noodles are a little bit you have yourself a ramen. rehydrated basically. And then you also have this beautiful uh, water press it is, no? Or is it water spinach? I think water spinach. Water spinach. I don't know if it's the same thing, water press it, water spinach anyway. We've got that in the soup as well. Mm. That's nice. Very good. Food is out of this world and the market is out of this world as well. This seems to be some sort of a mushroom. Oh yeah, looks like a mushroom. Yeah? A little bit smushy. I'm nice curious. mushroom. Very, very tasty though. 10 out of 10. The meat is fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Best breakfast ever. <laughs> At 5 p.m. The amount of cats that are here is just crazy. It's so cool. <laughs> We're going on the boat. We're going on a boat. Going on a boat. We're going on a boat. We are. It's time for a little bit of a cat boat trip, huh? I'm a little sketched out about this. I don't know. Apparently me and Naomi are going on our own boat because we're too heavy to go with other people. <laughs> they called us fat. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're just very tall and have heavy bones, right? Yeah, big bones. Have a look at this. This is going to be a little bit of an adventure. Let's see what happens. Away you go. <laughs> yeah, now it's your turn. <laughs> I'm very nervous. Very nervous. It's going to be so much fun though. You're going to be fine. <laughs> Guys, don't worry, we'll be the when you fall in. <laughs> Are they not crocodiles? No. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I go in first. I sit in the front. All right, we're now going upstream in the middle of the river. And look at Danny and Diggy, they have all of the cats. <laughs> oh my god. How amazing is this, guys? How are you feeling? 
I think Luke is stressed out. This is crazy. <laughs> I love it. And the sun is just literally coming down. I love it. I think we're gonna get some cats. Are we gonna get a cat? Guys, this is this is amazing experience. We've got kitties, the sun's going down. We are in the middle of the camp. We're going paddling around Hello, and the local Hello. house as well. Hello. 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 One in the million. Amazing. <laughs> you have got one three. Oh my god. I can see it over there. Oh no, we've got loads now. You've got more. You've got all of them. Oh no. Meow, 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 meow. Hello. Little yellow eyed cat. Jump on the other boat. Come on, lads. We have loads. Come on, lads, hop over. <laughs> they yeah. want to stay with you. You guys have all of the cats. We have zero cats. Aww. The cats don't like us. The cats don't like us. It's okay. Oh, no, they just want to go back to the owner. Yeah. yeah. They just want to go back. Oh, really? Yeah, they want to jump on the other one. Oh. I'm leaving us. We're going to the owner. Except for the one on the front, he's quite happy. And I the think. one on the back, there's one that is just chilling. The one on the back is chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Little loaf. Hello. Hello. He looks quite happy there. I think, he, I think he's good. <laughs> Hello. Mm. You can catch him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> he bites. Oh, he bites. <laughs> he bites. Oh. <laughs> okay. We have a cat. We have two cats. Oh, oh you got cats now. <laughs> yeah. Hello. He's just relaxing. It's a cat life. <laughs> How scenic is this? We're just going down the river with some cats. Oh. Danny and Diggy, you got two visitors from the back. Eh? One. And oh, no, the second okay. one is yeah. contemplating. It's gonna jump. Ooh. Hey. We're gonna crash. <laughs> <laughs> We're crashing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think uh, Mr. White Orange Cat is contemplating going Mr. for a White swim. <laughs> Mr. White Orange Cat. How are you doing there in the back? I'm good. Mr. Paddler. This is a very pleasant experience, I have to say. Oh, careful. <laughs> Oh. You nearly hit me with your pedal. Whoopsies. <laughs> I love this. Oh, oh they want to jump to our boat. We just have to get closer. I think the cats just want to go back over there and that's why they keep walking over the boats. Trying to get closer to the side. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Meowser. Oh, hello. I didn't expect you. Hi. <laughs> what a weird experience. <laughs> How cool is this? Got all of them now. Hello. So the current situation is basically that the cats are coming from the left side boats and they're going to the right side boats because I do think that the cats want to go there. Where Dan Bangkok is currently waiting for us. Hello! <laughs> and uh, yeah, I do think that the cats are trying to go this way. But uh, we lost the majority of our cats in between. I think they sort of went to the other boats. <laughs> I don't know where they're now. Uh, I think there's one, two. Do you have a cat? Yeah, we got two cats. Oh, two we have cats four. In the back. <laughs> See if my theory is right. If he's coming to the right now, he just wants to go home. What's new? Does he can? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Prove my point. <laughs> How did you get there so fast? Just hands. Just hands. Oh, I have a cat. Which one is the biting cat? That one. That oh, one. how calming. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hello, friend. Anyway, the cats proved my theory. Then Bangkok is standing on the bridge. Can you say, I am Batman? Bad Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where did he come from? Sometimes they are even they're there without us knowing. Which way are we going? Yeah. Does the boat smell interesting? <laughs> I nearly lost my sunglasses. <laughs> Hi guys, absolutely magical day. Um, we really didn't expect to end up on kayaks with cats. 
um, on a river in Thailand. Um, but yeah, crazy. Remember when I told you at the beginning of the video that we're not usually the planning type of people and usually something nice or magical happens? Today was one of those days and we took you along for the adventure. Yeah, 100%. This is just basically a, a reminder for all of you that is watching. Go out there and experience as much as you can. <laughs> take chances, take risks. Uh, life is very, very short, so make sure to go um, and say yes every now and then to different things because we said yes to this day trip here today and it turned out to be an unbelievably unforgettable day. Do it! Do it. Um, but for now, guys, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the Two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. We'll see you guys in the next Thailand adventure. Kap Kun Kap for watching. Kap Kun Kap. Bye bye. Bye bye. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. 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 bye.